Let's go, let's go, let's go, boys. You feel me? It's your boy, Nana the Soul, Nana the Chosen One, man. Hey, I'm back with another video, bros. You feel me? Hey, bros, the urges are crazy this morning. You feel me? I just woke up, you feel me? Finna head to school, hit my workout already, man. Y'all see the game. Stop playing with me, bros. You feel me? I'm feeling great, bro. Like this morning, I woke up, I slept on the floor, bros. Bro, there are so many benefits in sleep. I'm so can't even speak there's so many benefits to sleeping on the floor bros for me i'm gonna make a separate video about sleeping on the floor on semen retention bros you're gonna be waking up with your back so straight you're gonna be waking up feeling energized and ready to go bros i'm telling you bro the bed when you sleep on this bed right here bro it's too soft so it hurts your spine you have no support for your spine bros you sink in as soon as you sleep on your bed you feel me this is why some of y'all have back problems this is because of the bed we were never supposed to be sleeping on beds in nature, when you go outside, do you see a bed in nature, bros? Do you see any any soft surface on nature, bros? No. You're going to sleep on the floor if you get to nature. If you are homeless, you will sleep on the floor in nature. You feel me? You're going to wake up with the energy. You're going to wake up with your back straight. I'm telling you, there's no joke when you sleep on the floor on this journey, bros. Start sleeping on the floor, bros. You feel me? When you're holding your seed, bro, and you sleep on the bed, you are too comfortable. You are too comfortable. You are already doing something that is uncomfortable by holding your seed, bro. You feel me? It's uncomfortable to do that, bro. It's, it's hard to do that for most people. I'm telling you, bros, man. Stop sleeping on the bed. You feel me? I'm not telling you never sleep on your bed again. But I'm saying, bros, sleep on the floor more than you sleep on the bed. Because the bed sleep, sleeping on the bed makes you too comfortable in life. When you sleep on the floor, you are disciplining yourself to do things that are hard for you, bros. Y'all see the glow. Stop playing. You feel me? When I slept on the bed, bro, my back always used to hurt. You feel my lower back? Like, literally, my lower back used to kill me, bros. Now, when I sleep on the floor and I wake up, I feel energized. I feel ready to go. Stop playing, bro. You feel me? I woke up around, like, what, 5, 6 today? I was feeling good already because I was on the floor. The floor keeps you energized, bro. You feel me? It's nice and flat. Your back, your spine has support. The bed is not right, bro. You feel me? You be, you be so lazy. You, feel, you be feeling lazy to get up right when you're in the bed, right? You be feeling so comfy like, bro, I don't want to get up. You feel me? That bed, bros, that bed keeps you too comfortable. Sleep on the floor, bros. You feel me? That's not even really the, the, the video I was going to make. But, hey, I just want y'all to know, sleep on the floor on this journey, bros. You're going to see a lot of improvements. A lot of improvements. You feel me? Hey, I want to talk about how when you start to retain, you're going to have a lot of haters. When you start to shine, you're going to have a lot of people targeting you. You know why? Because you are the chosen one. You know why? Because you are shining bright. You know why? Because you are doing most things people are not doing. You feel me? You are out here retaining for dear life. You are holding on to your natural essence. You're holding on to your seed, man. You feel me? Stop playing. You're taking cold showers. You're praying. You're meditating. You feel me? You're eating healthy. You're working out every day. Bros, you're holding on to your seed, cultivating and cultivating new practices. For me, practices that, that will raise your vibration, practices that will connect you to God, bros. Bro, most people are not doing this. You st you're going to start to shine when you start to live righteous. God's going to put a light on you. Stop playing. God's going to put that glow on you when you start to retain. Because, bro, you are doing something that is tough. You are doing something that every single man cannot do. Real spill. Bro, I'm telling y'all, bros, man. Do not let these urges kill your potential. Do not let these urges kill your vibe, kill who you are, bros. That that version of yourself, that best version of yourself. Don't let these urges get to you. Don't let these females get to your head when you get female attraction. Stop focusing on it, bros. It's not important. I don't let female attraction get to me. This is, this is how I'm still getting the gains in the gym. This is how I'm still glowing. This is how I'm still succeeding on my purpose because I am not worried about the wrong things. I am worried about the right things on this practice, bros. Worry about the right things and you will see the benefits. There is no such thing as no benefits on semen retention. There are benefits. What are you doing in your life? Are you just sitting down expecting to see benefits, bros? Then that's not going to happen. You have to get up and do something with the energy. You have to get up and work out if you want to change your body. You have to get up and go serve your purpose if you want to gain success. Stop playing, bros. This is your life force. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good right now, bros. Like, this journey is amazing. Like, it really makes you a man, bros. It really, really, really does, bro. Hold your seed, brothers. Hold your seed, man. This is your life force. You feel me? You waking up like a lion, bro, when you retain. You 
you gonna have days obviously you feel you feel low on life but you're gonna feel you're gonna wake up most of the time feeling like a lion just ready to just soar and roar like are you ready to go bro stop playing man stop playing this is your life force this is your life force brother don't relapse do not relapse bros do not be buckling at the knees man it's not worth it if this is your life force you're gonna be having so many people targeting you the jealousy the envy the hate you feel me people gonna be ignoring you bros it's part of the semen retention process it's part of your success process it's part of you being great process bro it's all part of the process on semen retention yes you're gonna have some people who who want to talk to you who want to ask you questions People are gonna to start to tell you their life, tell tell you their life problems when you retain. They feel your aura. They feel that you have a, a higher power within you, but you you have something they don't have. So they start to look for answers from you. But you can only gain so much answers from from a man, bro. You need to go to God and really get the real answers, bros. Real talk. You feel me? When you're retaining, people look at you like you're bro. They look at you like you're successful because you are. You have that energy about you. You feel me? They, you have it. You can't hide it when you retain. You can't hide your light. You can't hide the greatness God has put in you when you retain, bros. Because you're going to start to have information, downloads, just to pursue your goals, pursue your purpose, bros. You feel me? I feel good this morning, man. I'm finna head to school. I'm finna have a great day. Put in the comment section right now. It's going to be a great day, bros. It's a Monday. Stop playing, bros. You feel me? Hold your seed, brothers. Hold your seed, man. You feel me? This is your life force. This is your, your your gains. This is your knowledge. This is your information, bros. Stop playing. You feel me? This seed will make you a man, bro. The moment you start to retain, you will become a target. People will start to look at you and be like, bro, why is he glowing? And why am I not glowing? So they're going to start to hate. They're going to start to envy. They're going to start to ignore you. The first day I got into my job, this is what I was experiencing. The hate, the envy, the jealousy, the ignoring. Bro, People used to move away from me. You feel me? They used to they used to see me and just they can't make eye contact. I'm too pure. When you retain, you're too pure. When you're a man of God, when you're a child of God, you're too pure. You have that light. God has just put you in that light. You feel me? And when the darkness sees you, oh, hey, bro, they running the opposite way. They hitting that forty meter, forty yard dash. They gone. They not, bro. They are not dealing with no light. When they're of the dark, when they're doing things of this world like smoking, drinking, fornicating. You feel me? Controlling people. When they're doing these things, bro, they can't look at the light in their eyes. You know why? Because the light's going to see through all of that. The light is going to see through all of those intentions, bro. Real talk. This is why you don't have a lot of friends when you are practicing senior retention. You are alone most of the time because people know you are the chosen one. People know you're going to see through whatever they're doing. You're going to see through that BS. Y'all, I'm telling you I'm feeling good this morning, bros. That cold shower got me right. That workout, that I was busting a sweat stop playing you feel me this is bro I, this is your power this is your life strength this is your bro your full sack bro we going to <laughs> come on man stop playing bros stop playing hold your seed you feel me i don't care if you're alone right now bro god has you alone for a reason you gonna elevate bros you gonna elevate in this life you gonna become who you truly are when you're by yourself look at me now bros i have 1000 plus subscribers on my channel stop playing we ain't done yet we ain't done yet shout out to y'all man from obviously glory to god all praise to god all praise to the most high all praise to yahweh real talk bro because bro without god none of this would have happened and that's a fact i would not even be here I would have been long gone and dead. You feel me? Because I had a near death experience. I have to make a separate video about that. You feel me? When I was what 16, you feel me? I had a near death experience. Bro, God saved me. Because I'm the chosen one. I'm here for a purpose. I couldn't just leave like that without serving God's purpose. You feel me? This is why I'm here. So when I make these videos, I pour my heart up. Bro, I pour everything within me into my videos. This is why y'all feel me. Y'all feel my energy so much. Y'all be feeling good. Y'all be feeling just so positive so much positive energy bro this is all i have positive energy i'm a positive person when you're of the light the darkness will not mess with you these people who are doing things to, 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 of not of not righteousness you feel me they're doing unrighteous things ungodly thing ungodly things like partying you feel me doing these low vibe you know what i'm talking about these low vibe things man look god's gonna let them not even look at you god's gonna not even let them touch you 
God's going to let them not even make eye contact with you, bros, because God knows you are his child. You are his light. You feel me? Obviously, everybody's God's, God's child, but some people just choose not to live righteous. Some people just choose to live for the world and not out for God. You feel me? Real talk. That's just what it is. I'm, I'm choosing the righteous way. I'm choosing to live for God all the way. No questions asked. You feel me? Because I know what is happening to me. Every single time I make a video, you feel me? It's like God put his, he puts his favor on that video. You feel me? My YouTube channel is literally based around God's favor. Bro, it, it, it's just, bro, I'm going to blow up. That's all I'm going to say. You feel me? Because God is with me. God is with y'all when you retain. You feel me? Keep retaining. Don't ever forget. You feel me? You will become a target on this journey, bros. The jealousy, the anger, the envy, your parents, you feel me? Even some, some of your parents might hate you. Some of your parents might jealous, be, be jealous. Some of your parents might envy. Some of your parents might ignore you. Bro, it's part of the process. Do not get discouraged. Do not give up. You might have no friends for one season. Who cares? Work on yourself. Work on what you have. You feel me? Work on that body. Work on your kingdom. Work on your finances. Work on whatever God wants you to work on. Work on it. Your connection with him, work on it. Why are you worried about friends? You feel me? You will become a target, but we don't care about that. We don't care about that. We're going to still pursue. We're going to still live this righteous life. You think I care when people judge me? I don't care. I know who I am in Christ. I know who God has called me to be. So there's no questions asked. There's no it's, buts, or ifs. Come on, bros. I know what I'm here to do. So I'm here waking up every morning ready to go, ready to serve it. You feel me? I'm feeling good, bros. You feel me? I'm feeling good right now, man. I'm finna head to school, bro. It's finna be a great day. I already know. And I'm going to work today. Woo! Boy, they're going to be feeling the presence today because I'm feeling good. You feel me? They're going to be feeling my presence on a whole nother level because I'm going in. I'm going today in with some high energy today, bros. You feel me? Bro, <laughs> you're going to become a target at work. You feel me? In your classroom. You feel me? In your job. Wherever you're at. Your home. You feel me? Whoever you're with, whoever wherever you're at, you will become a target because you know why? You are doing what most people are not doing. You are great. You are the chosen one. You are the one percenter. You are the one God has chose to lead the world. Real talk. And when God has chosen you, who you will have the haters. You're gonna have them Debbie Downers. You're gonna have them them people who the narcissists. You feel they're gonna be in your ear saying, "Oh, you can't do it. Oh, oh, you're this, you're that." Come on, bros. I'm telling you, man. Who would y'all see? Do not fall into temptation. Do not relapse. I don't care, bros. It's not worth it, bro. It's not worth it. You feel me? Let these people hate. You feel me? That hate's gonna go away. Who cares? Who cares? Push that hate to the side. Who cares, bro? I mean, we're going to give it a nice little right hook. Who cares, bro? Stop playing. We are going to keep pursuing our goals. We're going to keep living for God. You feel me? Because this is what I love to do. This is what you should love to do, to preach the gospel, to actually serve God, bro. Because God will never fail you. When you have God, you have all things. You never lack when you have God in your life, bro. Real talk. You feel me? Like, comment, share, and subscribe to my videos, man. You already know who's in the building. It's your boy, Nana the Soul. Nana the Chosen One. Nana the Glow. Nana the Soul. Real talk, man. Stop playing with me, man. I'm feeling good, bro. You feel me? Like, there's a shout out to Uncle K. There's actually no time for games. You feel me? Like, I'm starting to get on that timing. I have no time for games. I have no time for people to be trolling in my ear, just talking about dumb stuff. Come on, bros. If you're not on my timing, get out my way. If you are not on my timing, you are out of my life. Real talk. Because I'm on the I'm on this purpose. I'm on this timing. You feel me? To, to, to elevate. I'm really here. I'm really here, bros. Stop playing, man. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, man. Do not let you becoming the light and people targeting you let you relapse oh oh i'm getting too much hey i'm gonna just relapse that's not an excuse bros hold your seed that's the most dumbest excuse i've ever heard oh people are hating so much people are too jealous people envy me too much people are ignoring me let me just relapse come on bros do not fall into the devil's trap you feel me this it's a test keep retaining and you will see everything get better you feel me? Everything will change for the better, bros. Trust me. Trust me. I've been there. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. You feel me? Like, comment, share, and subscribe, man. It's your boy, and I'm out.